Back again with another commentary for you guys and today's episode I'm very excited about because I've learned a quite a bit amount of things recently that I've been applying to my back days specifically and starting off the workout we went with a weighted neutral grip pull up and I've really been liking the neutral grip lately that's one of my main tips for both the pull up as well as the lat pull down you'll see me use a, a pronated grip in this version just simply because I cannot find the neutral grip but I am at shoulder width and that is what I want you guys to really take away from this specific workout and using a shoulder width grip on your lat pull downs and pull ups and the reasoning behind this guys is simply because being that you are not in a compromised position by being wider, you're able to get a full stretch of the lat. When you're wide out here, you might hear the saying, the wider you grip, the wider the back. That is not true at all. Being that you are about shoulder width apart, you are going to be able to get a better stretch in the lat, and you will also be able to probably feel the contraction in your lat a lot better. So I really want you guys to focus on that, try a neutral grip out on your pull up and especially on your lat pull downs and if you do not have a neutral grip or you're just needing to use a pull up bar, a straight bar, then use about shoulder width. So just right above your hands, reach your arms up and grab it right there. You will feel a really, really solid stretch and something you probably have never seen before, especially if you are someone who's always grabbing the lat pull down bar out here or doing pull ups out here. So. I moved on from the weighted pull-ups, four sets of six to eight reps with 25 pounds, to one set of bodyweight pull-ups after those four sets, and I did that for 12 to 15 reps, really just trying to get the blood flowing again and get a higher rep set in to finish pull-ups. I then moved on to a close grip with two handles, seated row, and I'm really focusing on driving my elbows straight back, keeping them as tight, as my, tight to my body as possible, and driving them back. And also I keep my thumbs wrapped around the opposite side, guys. I am using straps, but I keep my thumbs on the opposite side rather than wrapping them around to disengage my biceps. So that makes sure that I'm using my lats for those rowing motions. The next thing I moved on to was the pronated lat pull down. So it was a straight bar, guys, but I was able to use a shoulder width grip and it very much felt very similar to a neutral grip, not necessarily the same, but I do like incorporating a little bit of both just to hit the lat in a different way, but using the shoulder width grip was definitely a game changer. I typically would go just before the bar actually starts to bend, so probably two or three inches outside of shoulder width, but I'm really, really going to stick with the shoulder width grip and the neutral grips for the future, just simply because I enjoy it a lot more and it feels a lot better just works the lat a lot more and it actually engages it in a better way so give it a shot guys after that I moved on to a one arm pull down which is something I recommend doing just simply because using one arm movements or what their term is unilateral movements being that one arm is being used at a time so they're working independently of one another you also see me do that right here on this machine which is actually used as um, you're normally supposed to be using both hands at once, but I kind of modified it to be able to use it as a unilateral movement and Incorporating these into your workouts is definitely going to help you whether that's on your arm day for curls whether that's triceps It's going to be a lot more effective to keep imbalances from happening and by imbalances I mean when one bicep is bigger than the other and a lot of times people will be doing a lot of straight bar curls stuff like that and both biceps are working together and a lot of times your dominant side which for me is my right side will take over and it will develop a little bit more than the left side so a lot of times if this is a problem for you an easy fix is to throw in a unilateral movement like I said like the one arm pull down with the cable as you guys saw or like I said with the machine simply just using dumbbells on a curl or using dumbbells on a chest press is going to incorporate a unilateral movement. Yes, you are using both of them together at the same time, but being that the weight is dis distributed independently on each hand, you're using both sides effectively. And you're not having one side kind of cheat a little bit and be able to kind of, not, just kind of 
cheat. That's really what it is because a lot of times your 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 right bicep is going to be a lot stronger, your right tricep is going to be a lot stronger, or vice versa if you are a left-handed person. And that is just something I wanted you guys to also get out of this video. So. I know I kind of just rambled on a little bit and didn't really mention too much about the workout but those were the main things I really wanted you guys to get out of this video and I just kind of finished up with a few other exercises, an underhand row on the seated row machine which I've really liked with the straight bar. My buddy Vince also suggested me that. He's really just been hitting me with some good tips and I've been trying them out and they've been really helping. So the tips I got on the lap pull down and the neutral grip was from one of <clears throat> One of Omar Isaf's latest videos, so go check that out. That is where I did get these tips from. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, I will be talking to you guys very soon. And make sure you guys go check out the giveaway video, which is one video before this, and enter that giveaway if you have not already. If you guys are interested, of course. I will be picking the winner probably early next week or middle middle next week just to guys give you guys a little bit more chance to enter. So thank you guys once again for watching, and I know this was a little bit shorter episode than normal, but I hope you guys can use those tips and try them out on your next back day because I know back is something that a lot of people struggle with engaging and actually using their back during the movements. So give this a shot, something that I've really, really taken and used effectively in my training, and I have struggled with engaging my back my whole lifting career so take these and use them effectively guys so thank you once again for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys very soon